Hey guys, this is going to be an awesome tutorial. Hope you're excited. This makes doing hair a lot easier. I'll put a link down below to uh, this article I've written, step-by-step -step instructions on everything I'm going to go over here. It also, I'm going to put down below the link to download the hairnet add-on. Okay, let's get started. First thing is you want to go and, you know, download the zip file for the hairnet add-on. And then you want to install it. If you don't know how to install it, I also have the instructions here. You basically go to File, User Preferences, Install Add-on from File. You find the file, double click it, and it'll be installed. Then, once you have it installed, click on User, and it'll pop up Particle, Hairnet. Click the box, save the user settings, close the window. That's it. Now you're ready to go. You can verify that it's working by clicking right here on the emitter tab and you'll see these three options. That's hairnet. Okay, let's get started. First thing we're going to want to do is uh, press 3 on the numpad and then 5 on the numpad. Make sure you have the grid. That's orthographic view. Put the cursor above the block. Hit one on the numpad, and center the cursor over the block. Shift A, create a mesh plane. I'm going to go ahead and hit R and angle it, like so. Hit three to go back to the side view. We want to tab into edit mode. Once we're in edit mode, you want to hit A to deselect all. Now you want to hit Z to make a transparent view. This comes in handy for when the next step, which is pressing the letter C, makes a selector. If you select one end, because it's transparent, after you select it, do a right click, and it'll turn off the selector. Because we had it transparent, it actually selected both vertices, which is what we want. So hit Z3 to go back to the numpad. Now we're going to press E to extrude, and just pull it out, and then left click. Press E again, extrude, left click. Press E again, extrude, left click, press E, and E. You know, basically what you're doing is you're just going to make a shape that your hair is going to follow. This right here is good enough, and it's solid. So once we got that set up, tab back into object mode. Press Z to go back in solid mode. You know, and all the instructions are here. You can follow along quite easy. So what we need to do is we want to subdivide the surface. So while you're in object mode and you have this hair strand representative selected, you're going to go to the object modifiers. And you're going to add a modifier. And that's the subdivision surface. Boom. Go ahead and just hit apply, that's fine, just like that. Tab back into edit mode. And see, now we get this line down below. That's kind of what we want. So the hair is going to follow these lines. One, two, three. We actually want more than that, but we're going to come back to that. But right now, while we're in edit mode, you want to change to the seam selector, or edge select, sorry. With that select, you want to select all the freaking edges. So you got one, hold down shift, just go through and select them all. And this is while you're in edit mode. Boom, boom, boom. Damn, cool. And now you hit together control in the letter E. That's going to bring up the edge menu, and you're going to mark seam. Bam. So the point to remember here is no matter what the shape is of your hair, the seams are going to be perpendicular to the direction of your hair flow. So since the hair is going down and waves out, you want the seams that go opposite direction. Awesome. And so now we're going to tab out of edit mode. And just for an example, we're going to hold down shift and select the box. 
or the right click. So now we got both of them selected. You got your hair and the object you want the hair to come out of. Both those select, you go right over to your emitter option and you can go ahead and just try it out and you hit add hair from sheets. Boom! We got hair, but that's not quite what we wanted so let's uh, add a little more detail to this. Hit a control Z to undo what we just did. Control Z again to unselect everything. You want to just, se just select the cube. You want to control S. We want to put the cursor to selected. Then we want to right click and select the hair strand and we want to do a control shift alt C. And then we want to do the origin to the 3D cursor. So we hit 3 on the numpad. What that does is if like say for example if you hit R it rotates the hair along the cube, keeps it connected. Which is, you know, pretty nice. I like to bring it down a little bit just so it looks like it's coming out of the hair. Really doesn't matter, it's up to whatever project you're working on. Okay, what we want to do now also is with this selected, we're gonna hit tab and you're gonna hit control R, make an edge loop. When the purple, before you do anything, when this purple line shows up, if you move the mouse, you can make it go left and right. We do want up and down. So once it's up and down, you start scrolling the mouse, or you can just hit a number, like 6, and it makes 6. So let's do 6. Do a right click to set it. Now it allows you to move it left and right, so you're going to have to do another right cl left click to secure it. And let's do it for this other side also. So that's Control R. Hit the number 6, or scroll, left click, left click. There we go, that's beautiful. And we don't just want one hair, so what we could also do at this point while still in edit mode is hit the letter A, deselects everything. And then you want to hit A again, selects it all. I like to do a top view for this part, so I hit 7 on the numpad. With everything selected, you do a shift D. That just duplicated it. And what I'll do is I'll do a left click to set it, and then I'll do an R to rotate. And see, now we got another set of hair. And you can position it like however you want to position. This is just a simple example. Same thing too, I'm going to hit Shift D again. I'm going to set it, and then I'm going to rotate it. Do it again, Shift D. Set it, rotate it, move it. Set it, move it, rotate it. <laughs> you know, you just gotta come up with your own workflow. There we go. Now we got like a weird little hairdo. So we're gonna tab back out of edit mode into object mode. Now we got this one big object, which is great. And so at this point, again, we're gonna go ahead and hit this button, add hair from sheets. Oh. See, we got the error because we only have that selected, so we have to select the cube also. Don't forget that. So you hold down shift, right click, and then press add hair from sheets. Give it a second. And there we go. And then you can make your uh, plane disappear. And we got hair. And then all you gotta do now is, you know, just go into this display and child so if you go into children under display and increase the steps smooths it out if you go into child you could um you know increase the shape the radius other things like that cool hope you like this hope it helps out if you have any questions please comment below thank you